Two out, nobody on with a one-two pitch. Line right back at Hendricks, who recovers to field it. The throw is offline. Rizzo can't hold it. And Pagan is safe, and now they'll have to check on Hendricks. Yeah, that got him pretty good, and Pagan got down the line really quickly. As you could tell, you could hear the sound live, and we're pretty far up. Wondering if it got him at the forearm of his pitching arm at all at any point. We're hoping it got more of the stomach area than uh, than the arm. As good as his mechanics are, he finishes up pretty good and put himself in a defensive situation. That ball was hit pretty firmly. They put the ball back in his glove. And Madden's going to wait for him to take a few tosses just to be sure he's okay to continue. Here's what happened. Right about its belt level. Pagan did get down the line in a hurry. Let's see where it got him. You're right, it looked like the middle of his torso took it more so than the forearm. Yeah, just a on glance, the pitching side. Yeah, glancing blow off the arm a little bit. And so again, when you're in this situation, of course, Joe Madden's gonna say we don't need any heroes if you can't perform at the level that it takes for that movement and sinker and command. That's what the discussion they're having right now. Scored as a base hit. That would be obvious. One more look. I don't think he's going to continue. Yeah. Well, he's coming out of the game. Little fist bump from Wilson Contreras, deprived of the chance for a victory, leaves leading four to two, but without having pitched the requisite five innings to qualify for the victory. That's a far less concern than his availability for the rest of the postseason. Travis Wood is going to come out of the bullpen.